Greetings, I am Herbert Erpaderp, and oh, hi March. It's the beginning of a new month and that means it's time for a Herbert Erpaderp to answer questions that he's been asked. But before that, I would like to say a big thank you and welcome to our newest patron, Ryan Thomas. I appreciate your support and hope you enjoy your time as a patron. If you didn't know, being a patron not only lets you see the videos a bit early, but you can also take part in polls, and if you like, you can submit Ask a Herbert Herbert Up questions in your own voice. So if you want to be glorious and mighty, like Ryan Thomas, there's a link to Patreon in the description below. And now, the questions, and then some answers. Trekan Belovic said, I know that tanks designed after World War II don't particularly interest you, except if they're Centurions, but do you think the Soviet made SPAAG ZSU 23 4 could be interesting to you if you take a closer look, as a good, weird looking vehicle? They are certainly weird, and they aren't even that new. Aren't they from, like, the 60s? My interest in vehicles doesn't have a hard cutoff at the end of World War II, and there are some pretty interesting looking post war vehicles for sure a lot of which I would like to build models of, and this is definitely the kind of model I would think about building, though not something I've actually actively sought out before. Never say never though. Hercheon said, if you could ask older Herbert Erpeter one thing, what might it be? Do you mean Herbert when he's older, or future Herbert, or old Herbert, as in past Herbert? I guess if it's future Herbert, I would ask if he knows who's been leaving all those problems for him, and hope that he forgets it was past and present Herbert. I might also ask if there's any situations or things that I would be better off avoiding, or not avoiding. Assuming the timeline didn't then change, because I'd been given knowledge of things to come. Major General Bunk said, more DACA? Of course. More DACA is the solution to all problems. Even the problem of too much DACA. Ratto said, what is the best ratio of serious and funny questions in Ask a Herbert Erpeter? What is the best episode of Ask a Herbert Herbert Herb, and why is it 169? Hmm, the ratio is 40 to 60. Is that more funny or more serious? We may never know, and it's certainly not because I just made it up. Ask a Herbert Herbert Herb, Herb, 169 hasn't even been made yet, so I guess what we're learning here is that Ratto has seen the future. Please give us the forbidden knowledge of the future, I won't tell anybody. Panzer IV said, when can we expect a full-size Bob Semple tank? From me, never. From somebody else, I have no idea. Probably also never, unfortunately. Best I can do is a shrug and a non-committal, I'd build it in kit form if they made it. In a sensible size, of course. That's what I sound like. Trekan Belovic said, do zombies listen to death metal or just some brainless music? I would assume, having no brains, that they might listen to brainless music, and then death metal once they've eaten some brains. And then later on when they're hungering for brains again, maybe it's back to brainless music. Or do they have their own zombie music, with like a vibrant scene of zombie bands? It's really underground. Hetz's Gunner Hetz said, thought about using glow-in-the-dark paint on your models? I've never really thought about it, though I think someone might have suggested it in the past. I can't remember. I don't think it's something I would really want to do, and while I don't really know much about glow-in-the-dark paints, I would imagine it wouldn't quite be as effective as a model built intentionally from glow-in-the-dark plastic. Who knows though, maybe one day. Hetz's Gunner Hetz said, what are your thoughts on T-gauge, aka 3mm gauge or third of N-scale model railways? It's approximately 450th or 480th scale. Not as small as the teeny tiny train set from last Ask a Herbert Up It Up, but it's still very small. I've never really seen it. I did Google it though, and I was actually surprised to see pictures of an Australian train. In particular, a Victorian diesel of some sort. That's pretty cool, and I can definitely see the appeal of a scale like that, especially if you want to build a model railway with really big scenery. You could have some massive mountains without them actually having to be that big, and that does seem really fun. I would imagine the downsides to be far fewer ready-to-run models on offer, and if you like looking at trains you might need a magnifying glass, but it does seem pretty cool and I can certainly see the appeal. Panzer IV said, Please settle this argument with my friend. Is a flying boat a plane that can boat, or a boat that can plane? I would say it's in the name. It's a boat that flies, therefore it's a boat that can plane. If, however, it was a float plane, it would be a plane that can boat. So saith the Herbert. 
In the YouTube comment section of last month's Ask a Herpet Herpet Herp, Mark Ferguson said, You're very welcome that I watched. I shall have to remember to ask more questions. None come to mind right now though. Well, I could ask you why you haven't kept your promise to do more painting videos, but that would probably piss you off, so I won't. Why you no good piece of sh Actually, it doesn't really piss me off. And I don't think I actually promised anything. Rather, I probably said something like, I'm going to try and paint more. And I think, technically, compared to the previous year, I did paint more. I just didn't paint a whole lot. This year, I don't promise to paint anything at all. That way I can definitely over-deliver on my promises. Also, I do have to say, even though your comments might not always be questions, you do usually have very thoughtful and interesting responses to my videos, and I appreciate that. Okay, that's it for the questions, let's have a look at some of the models that have been shared over on the Discord server, the link to which you can find in the description below. Sneaky Zaku has shared this Death Guard Rhino. This thing looks really cool, and those spikes are just so gosh darn friendly. I'm not super versed on 40k lore these days, not that I ever really was, but it looks like there's some nice nurgly rot and mutation happening to this thing. I've always really enjoyed seeing how people do that sort of thing. Very well done. Peterenko shared this diorama. This is a tiger, obviously, from Gropper Furman. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing any of that correctly, even the English bits. This is in 70 second scale and I'm not sure where the tiger is from, it wasn't mentioned. But the figures are from White Stork Miniatures and the tank crewman is from Royal Model DR Real. This is Peter Inko's second diorama and I think it's really well done. The track marks in the mud are quite nice and the tank itself looks like it's had a bit of a hard life but it's surviving. Very nice work. Ratto shared this dwarf smith. He looks really angry. Maybe somebody's interrupted his smithing with a stupid question or something. The model is from North Star Miniatures. It's a really cool looking figure and as you can see, it's been painted very well. Hell yeah. Major General Bunk has shared this Hetzer, which is obviously gonna Hetz. It's just what they do. This is the 28mm scale kit from Warlord Games and it's been painted to represent a late production Hetzer that's relatively fresh off the production line and has just deployed to its unit in 1945. Bunk originally intended for this to be an entry in the recent group build, unfortunately though time was not on his side, but the benefit of that was there was more time for more detail and the result is something Bunk is really happy with, for a good reason. Trekan Belovic shared a pair of SDKFZ-165 self-propelled guns, also known as Hummel. These are plastic 15mm scale models from Battlefront, and they've been painted, as you can see, very nicely to represent vehicles belonging to the 2nd Panzer Division. These look to be really nice little models, and I'm certainly interested in getting some of them for myself. Anyway, that's it for the models this month. As always, there's way too much for me to share here, so go check out the rest of the models over on Discord. And, if you like, share some of your own work. Unsurprisingly, that's also the end of Ask a Herpet Up It Up for the month. It'll return again in April. So that means you've got a bit under a month to organise your burning questions that can only be answered by a Herpet Up It Up, and then put them in the appropriate locations. Thanks to everybody who shared their modelling work and asked questions. And of course, a big thank you to my patrons, especially our newest patron, Ryan Thomas. Your support is very much appreciated. Also, keep an eye out for some more polls and stuff. I do intend to do more of those. As always, links to stuff and things are in the description below. Take care of yourselves, be excellent to each other, and thanks for watching. Farewell.